It was written talaga my nai as a, a female uh, sniper, na character driven. Uh, uh, she's on a journey, seek revenge. She was honorably discharged from the army because of her. Uh, she has. She's also a burn victim. So her burns in her side of her face were affecting her performance. And you'll also realize why she was burned later on in the film as well. So it was really written, uh, Manai, for uh, a female character and really perfect and really happy when Bella said yes. Thank you, Manai. Thanks for sharing with us. Hi. I'm hoping you know the songs that you know, and then you learn. Mm. Yeah, actually, a lot of the budget went to music, definitely, because we, we uh, majority of it are original songs. And basically, I chose songs based on the lyrics. They were saying something that I felt Fidel Delta was going, Fidel Berta was going through. I, we, we, took, we listened to a lot. Me, love. I, I shared some with Bella as well, my team. And we had picked a few. Of course, there were some songs I admit I picked, but I'm so damn expensive. I even higher, so we found alternatives. But we also talked to the cops in Davao and asked them what songs they would sing. So we actually got one song. They actually would sing "What Bago Cap" by Freddie Aguilar. That's one of the main songs they would sing to these users. So it's also in the film. And Love wrote a song also for the film. It's also in the film. So there's about. I could say about seven or eight songs that we play continuously. Thank you. Who would like to ask next? Yeah. Bella, I just want to ask, kung how was ano being a sniper? Nag-aral ka bang humawak ng gun? Yes, but, and how was um, the joint so? Um, it was very nerve-wracking. I was, sure, um, I'm representing a whole organization here. So and. We have very talented um, soldiers in the Philippines, so I didn't want to let them down. So I did train. Um, the team of Manilita Direct Ball personally accompanied me when I trained. So I can now assemble a rifle in a minute. <laughs> it's going to be one of my hidden talents forever now. <laughs> no, but I did have to train. I'm on form, different guns. Even if we were only going to use one gun, one type of gun in the film, they helped me learn how to use different kinds of gun para realistic yung, yung kickback ng gun. In fact, when we shot the very first scene in the movie, um, as we know, snipers sometimes have to hold the same position for several hours. And that actually happened kasi instead of standing up from where I was, and you saw it in the trailer, yung puro pato and puro, puro grass. Instead of standing up, kada magpapalit ng lente, nagsistay na ako. Tapos nung binilang ko, parang nakaka-8 hours na ako nakahiga dito. Sobrang sakit na nung likod ko. But I had the gun, and I asked the red ball, can I try to shoot um, a couple of rounds before we start filming? Kasi I wanted to feel the, yun nga, the kickback of the gun before before we shot. Kasi um, in the first scene, I had to aim for targets. So, um, in, in one shot, sana, like, um, in one continuous shot of the camera. So, um, I wanted to do it perfectly. Kasi, as, as I learned from training, we don't have female sniper shooters in the Philippines. So, if I was gonna play the first ever female sniper shooter, I wanted to do it right. So, yes, we did train for it. And even on set, we had, we had, um, professionals to keep on, to keep me in check. Like, yung gun, tama ba yung pag-assemble? So, lagi silang nandun. So, in fairness, ang ganda ng shots ko when we trained, um, maraming bullseye. <laughs> so, dot, dot, dot. So, after the film ba, are you planning to, ano, to... Sampo lang pa daw ka. To do yung being, ano, a uh, gun, ano, or... Um, sorry. Um, wala, wala. Actually, no. I'm, I'm very, um... I'm a very non-violent person, so as much as I'm sure there are pros to the cons of having a gun, I don't think I will ever support or own one. Um, I'm happy to play the role, but in real life, as Bella, I don't think I ever will. To the Rex, sabi niya first time to ano, na maging parto ng Tokyo, may mga try na ba kayo before na ipasa? 
kaso parang hindi nakapasa. Ito right. lang yung nakapasa, parang yun. Uh, in films in the past, definitely, yeah. I mean, we, 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 I mean with film festivals, naman, you, you really can't make a film and say it's gonna premiere in this film festival. It's, it's, it's you submit and you just parang, hope for the best. No? So yeah, there's been many, many uh, uh, rejections and, and parang, oh, we didn't get it, diba? sayang, sayang. So with, with Manyanita, uh, I'm thankful that we were able to get a, a big festival like Tokyo to say yes and to put us in the main competition for as well. I think there's, I was told that out of the 1,000 plus films, they chose 14 lang to be part of the main competition. So that was quite, uh, and I think in Asia, there's only two. There's like Philippines and China, yeah. And then the other 12 are, I think, international films. So uh, yeah, I read an article about that. So that's pretty cool. So it's also at the same time representing the country, you know, that that comes into play, you know, and uh, we're really excited. I'm looking forward. Like I said, we've been to Tokyo before, but not in the main competition. So this different, is gonna, this, uh, different it's a different section. No? So this is in the main. So yeah, we have actually a lot of activities lined up for us now. They're asking us to be there for like more than a week. So it's been exciting. Are you going to attend? Also bad. Yeah, we're both going. We're both going. What's your yeah. film before? Is that um, I was with the team of I America, but uh, we were in the new wave competition. Are you aiming for a best actress? I, I don't even know if I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think also, because we can't predict what movie is going to make it to um, these festivals. I mean, when you think about it, every year naman, and daming magagandang Filipino movies na lumalabas, pero nagipapalit din kasi yung jury ng mga competition. So, they always look for something different every year. So, if Manyanita makes it this year, we don't know if next year ito yung hinahanap nila. So every year, iba-iba naman din yung hinahanap. But we're, I guess we're very blessed na this year pumasok kami sa flavor na gusto ng Tokyo International Film Fest. And I'm very excited because the, the head of the Tokyo International Film Fest this year is one of my uh, favorite actresses, Zhang Zi. So um, I feel like it's it's a good opportunity for, for us to even just be there. So yeah. We're just curious kung may part ba ng action to kasi parang she is a sniper or more on parang right after the yung kanyang sniper well yeah so I mean when you say sniper uh, um, it's it's quiet kind of action so they're not really the when you say marines or you say the, the air force no not like ang action pack this is actually really uh, I would say a quiet uh, action film there's suspense there's like drama and uh, yeah, so I think uh, in December, December 4th, we'll be showing the Philippines. Hopefully, you guys can experience uh -huh. that. Okay, congratulations. Thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you. and who else would like to ask? Please go ahead. Yes. Bella, what made you say yes to the film? Right. Um, actually, Derek Paul and I have been wanting to work with each other for years now. He told me a story a couple of years ago, which I really wanted to do. Um, if this movie has a little bit of a political um, feel, the first movie that he was pitching to me had a more um, religious feel. And I was so excited to do that movie, but we couldn't find the right fit for it. Like, we couldn't think of who my co-actor was going to be, where we were going to shoot it. And there were so many things not lining up yet. Um, and then we would talk about it once in a while. Like, we would see each other, but when I party na, say, Cornerstone or Spring Films, we would talk about it, but hindi siya matuloy -tuloy. And then, um, yun nga, I, I pitched the story to him, and then he suddenly said, I have this concept, and it it was so interesting to me, because he told me the story about the Manyanita Cops, and I remember watching the the news, news um, stories and news items, thank you, about the Manyanita Cops, and I was like, I haven't seen a movie about it yet, so game, I'm ready to do it, like, <laughs> Ganun lang naman ako, hindi naman ako mahirap pitch ng movie. So, um, I really like the idea nga kasi of the non-violence of the Manyanita Cops, of them singing outside and ang daming sumuko. Like, I remember my, my um, news video of people really coming out of their houses pag kumakanta na yung mga police. So, um, that was the first part of the movie he told me about. And the rest, I didn't know. I didn't know what my character was gonna be, kung asawa ba ako ng police, o police ba ako, o ako ba yung hinuli. Literal, wala pa akong idea, but I wanted to be a part of it. How hard was it to make a movie when you have to do all of the 
It was definitely very scary. Because um, I I believe in the theory that acting is reacting. So for this movie, I had no one to react to because I was working alone. So I would react to the chair, I would react to the light, I would react to my gun. To the point na feeling ko, or baka dahil sumabay sa sinong may sala na medyo may konti akong mental disorder, feeling ko nadadala ko siya dito sa Manyanita na sabi ko kay Direct Paul, may isang scene kami na makikita ko yung barel ko for the first time. And sabi ko, Direct, pwede bang kiligin ako pag nakita ko yung barel? <laughs> sa inanimate objects na ako nagreact. So, obviously, for an actor, I feel like it's it's exciting when you get to try something new and something no one has done before. But at least locally, I think, no one has done before. And, um, I always look for opportunities for me to push what I can do. Um, I don't like doing the same roles twice or I don't like giving the same kind of performances. So, I'm happy he gave me a chance to do that here. Not at all, not at all. Uh, actually, I mean, like, like Bella mentioned, you know, uh, we've, I've always wanted to work with her, and we've always tried to find the right project. So thankfully that, you know, she gave me that trust. And I think when she gave me that trust from the beginning, it just kind of went all the way until today. No, you still trust me. Yeah, I do <laughs> So when we were shooting the film, I would just, you know, give her simple directions. I mean, obviously we had a, an eight-page script to kind of guide us, but the script was really honestly like scene one, you know, open road, Idilberta is walking. So, you know, she would also inject her own emotions. And, and then when I, what I liked about Bella is that she would also make it her own, her being the character. So I would tell her, I would guide her, but at the same time she would make it her own. And when I was behind the camera, when I was watching what she was doing, it was great. And then, and then it, it was even better. So it was really fun working with her, and uh, hopefully this is not the last. Thank you. Over there. Yes. Yes. I have my questions for uh, Bella. Since uh, the only uh, nabanggit na parang may music na involved, so yes. are you going to play an instrument also here, or kakanta ka ba? No. Um, I I how I watched the movie. So we watched this with friends and family a few months ago. Uh, for me, the music in the movie is a narration, and I love that it turned out that way. Because as Derek Paul well knows, even on set, I like to play music before my scene starts. It's it's one of my greatest motivators. Like I, I love listening to music. Parang feeling ko lagi ako may soundtrack sa utak ko, and it's so amazing for me to watch a movie that I'm happily a part of. Na ganon, na binibigyan kanya ng soundtrack bago pa pumasok yung eksena. So like Derek Paul said, they gave the subtitles yung song nila, songs nila Freddie Aguilar ng Asin because for all the audiences, we want you to understand what Edelberta is going through if, if you can't understand the songs that are in Tagalog. Hopefully, when you read the lyrics, maintindihan mo na, ah, kaya siya naglakad netong araw na to kasi ito yung pinagdadaanan niya. Kinuwento ni Freddie Aguilar sa akin. So, meron siyang ganong personal feel na nag-usap kami ni Freddie Aguilar dito papunta si Edelberta. So, Alam mo yun, meron siyang, meron siyang ganun. It's, the whole movie nga is an experience. It's, you can't just watch it. You really have to take note of little things. After doing the film, um, ano yung mga realizations mo uh, related to Manyanita? Mainit mag-prosthetics. <laughs> Joke lang. Um, like what Derek Paul said, I feel like maybe this is the reason why I said yes in, in hindsight. Um, there is a non-violent way to approach violence. I've always been a believer of this. And um, actually, I was just telling Derek Paul and um, the team earlier, I watched Joker last night, and my takeaway from that film is if only one person showed kindness, it would have changed the whole track of the movie. And that's what I feel like Manyanita is trying to show. If you choose to do what's right in a way that will harm as, as little people as possible, then life should go on as peacefully as it should. Um, there's a beautiful scene here with Sir Ronnie Lazaro. Shay na rinig niyo sa VOs kanina, and his lines will really hit home. Meron siyang sinabi na in Tagalog, but the the idea is find things that can't be seen and listen to what can't be heard. So sometimes there are things that are so intangible that we try to avoid, but actually they might give more meaning to our lives. So that's that's my takeaway from this film. Yeah, 
for a uh, direct naman uh, direct um since you need to capture yung uh, emotion ni Bella dahil since wala siya masyadong line <coughs> sa movie did, did you give any restrictions or may mga pinagbawal ka ba kay Bella or ano yung requirements sa kanya for her to ma-achieve yung tamang uh, emotion no not at all not at all actually for me it is it, it, i kind of also treated the, the style or the my directorial style is more of organic yung parang what is what is what is, you know. Um, Whatever is there is there, you know. Uh, I was just capturing life, you know. But um, I just, you know, so I just gave Bella her space. I would tell her, "Naman, technically, this is your blocking. I don't go beyond here and there." But at the same time, you know, she made her own, and that's what we captured. That's what we captured. So we, I, I, I would like to think also in the terms of, uh, you know, the style of. Uh, if you guys look up transcendental style, mm -hmm. you know, it's just basically capturing mm -hmm. reality. Just being as organic as possible, you know, not giving too much direction, because I also trust her as a as her as an actress, you know, with her craft. She's also a filmmaker, so we just got that collaboration and we we, we, we captured it, and that's what you're gonna that's what you're gonna see. And going back to Bella lang, uh, hindi ka ba dun nahirapan? Since uh, paano kung may mga time ba na nagtitik kayo and then hindi ka into character or hindi mo nafeel masaya yung ano? And kailang and nagre-reflect siya sa mga shows? Um, I, I would like to say Derek Paul is downplaying his um, direction towards me. He helped me so much. Hindi, hindi lang puro space yung binigay niya sa akin. He gave me very clear, um, a very clear sense of what the scenes should be. So each scene, sinasabi niya kung bakit namin ginagawa itong eksena to. Kasi marami kami yung eksena na Edelberta is walking. But what what I'm walking towards and what, what I walk away from is very important. And Derek Paul made sure na bago kami mag-take, lagi niya sinasabi what I was walking away from, what my past life was, and where I want to go. So I think that's that in itself, that um, direction already sets the mood for a whole scene. All I had to do was, was play with it and was um, really keep it in mind. Um, so you will watch a lot of scenes. Like, meron kami mga eksena, naglalakad na ako ng 20 minutes. No, we didn't take time. But of course, if you watch it, it's edited. Na siya. But I would walk for 20 minutes. Nang naka prosthetics, naka suot ako ng military gear. And hindi namin siya dinadaya. Suot ko lahat ng sinusuot nila sa loob. Yung duffel bag ko talagang may laman. So I really felt like a sniper shooter alone in the woods. So while we were shooting, hindi na masadong nawawala sa character. Um, parang yung pagka dumi ko physically uh, yung yung itsura pag dumidiyan ako sa kamay ko sa salamin lahat um, i really felt like the part na while we were on set so i'm very happy because we had such an amazing team pati yung prosthetics artist namin makeup artist wardrobe lahat sila they they played such a big part into me doing my job so um, it wasn't a hard experience it was for me must release from from the the routine life of doing a soap Ito yung nag enjoy ako pag Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday kasi nakapaglaro ako or may, may na-experience ako bago. So, yun po.